This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. So I'm going to call the meeting of the Manhan Rail Trail Committee to order. It is Monday, July 22nd, 2024. Um, we'll begin first by the approval of the minutes from the June 24th meeting. Sent that out with the agenda. Does anybody have any corrections, additions, or comments? I can find anything. Barbara found the only one. Oh, uh, the, the date was wrong, but I fixed the date. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I didn't even look at that. Yeah. Test to see it. Exactly. Yeah, right, right, right. Not really okay. right. All right. Do I have a motion to accept the minutes of the June 24, 2024 um, meeting? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, Alexis, you want to talk under public speak time? Yeah, so um, uh, I was just looking up when the Park Street project is starting. I think it's like in a year or two on the tip. Um, and I work with Safe Routes to School at my job. And um, I was talking to Tori. I think a few of you might know her um, from Safe Routes to School. I forget her last name at the moment. Anyway um and i was just talking about how there's kind of a few neighborhoods in east hampton that are lacking connectivity to the manhan especially like the new city area and you know we have our daydream about the bridge across the mill pond and um uh i just wanted to connect our work with what's already happened or currently happening or going to happen with the mountain view project and um i think the best way and i know we're like missing city engineers and city planners so we can't really take on more um infrastructure at the moment but i thought that we could maybe get better connected with mountain view and she has contacts at mountain view and tori said she would be willing to come speak at one of our meetings if you guys would be amenable to that. So what kind of connections are you thinking? Um, well, she has contact with one of the teachers who also runs like a bike to school day. And um, I know there's like at least one PTO person that's interested in bike commuting. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I don't, um, I, I want to support because like the park street is like in the works, but everything takes so long that I want to start thinking about what we could apply for next for safe routes to school, or if we could um, try our own grant writing for, you know, maybe that, that um, pedestrian bridge you guys have talked about or other connections to make it safer for kids to get from like new city area or other parts of the uh, community to the manhand. What do you think? Yes, John. Um, I just wanted to uh, say that <clears throat> we had done a somewhat extensive future plan of connectors that involved several around the city, um, including, you know, paths down Plain Street through the back entrance of Nonatuck, through Nonatuck to get is, people from like the Plain Street neighborhoods over to school through a different way um, and sort of to create a loop as well. Um, but I, I I worked with the Conway School quite a bit. I, I sent her that report. I, I downloaded it onto <laughs> yeah, okay. it again. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, that's yeah. a great start for finding suggestions because we did a lot of research about where there's conservation land and possibilities to use existing properties that are owned by east hampton by the city to to get places absolutely yeah so yeah i thought that since it's like fall and that project hopefully is starting i don't know what year i'm looking at it on the website but i don't have a year on here i think it's 27. oh really that's so far out <laughs> Everything's so slow. I could be wrong though. I'll look it up again. Oh, it, 
it claims to have a want to have a ribbon cutting by 26 but i don't see that happening <laughs> oh okay so it's on the tip for next year then it might be for 25. yeah okay no i might be thinking of westfield actually okay or southampton um yeah i know because jeff are, like scored that already now way over a year ago yep super and, yeah so how does that happen without a planner yeah, I think until we find we get somebody in the planning department, I think we're kind of like, uh, you know. Yeah, I hear you. I don't want to like start with infrastructure projects, but um, if we talk to Tori, Tori could um, kind of like get us, uh, you know, kind of open communications with who she's working with because Safe um, Safe Reads to School has programs with Mountain View already established um and they do like bike rodeos and train kids to ride bikes and there's a teacher who does bike bike rides and so like and i feel like we're kind of disconnected from them and i think that could be a good alliance but part of that is i haven't been to a meeting in a couple months or maybe more so i'm sorry about that alexis we've we've met before uh briefly i think but i i work at mountain view school um so I, I know a little bit what know what's going on in on that end with the school. So are you are you Scott? I, I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's who she was talking about. Steve, you're in the room. <laughs> and I'm I apologize. Like, were you talking about the extension to the school? Is that yes, yep, yep. Yep. And having somebody come from Mountain View to meet with us or speak to us about other ideas for other yeah. Well, I was thinking about having Tori come and speak to us, but Scott is the person that I was referred to by Tori. So you're obviously in the room. <laughs> At this point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because this is public speak, we really can't make any, we're not supposed to even comment. But um, yeah. it, it um, I, I think, I don't know, to me, it kind of feels like something that's got to wait until things settle down stairs in the planning department before. But. Fair is that enough. is that because it's not already in the dot's docket though like once it goes to 25 percent design phase the planner doesn't really have anything to do with it well i mean extra little added connectors and things like that oh yes uh, i see what you're saying yeah but yeah having connections with other departments and things uh, that's always good so cool. I don't I don't know who this person is you're talking about. Right. But Corey's the our safe routes to school coordinator. So like when we do bike to school day, oh, okay. um, which we've done seasonally for the yep. past several years, like she's the person that we coordinate with. Um, Jeff has typically been Jeff Bag has typically been a part of that, okay. um, and so that's been kind of and that and those those events within the school were part of uh getting the grant was contingent on like our safe routes to school participation being at a certain level nice. so when we started those uh i mean six yeah. years ago or yeah. some a while ago yeah. um that was all in anticipation of this grant it, and now we've been i mean until i mean i want to do it anyway because it's a good thing to do but especially like until that actually happens i don't want there to be any reason why they would come and say oh now you're not fulfilling yeah, there is that route through the through the park too that you can take yeah so that um yeah i think that was sort of thought of as more of a walking yeah path for now and right um but which has gotten a lot of traffic i mean that was you know started as just sort of a renegade path through the woods and now it's very much like i mean kid dozens of kids use that every day um the school uses it to bring people over to the to Nonotuck park like right uh, is that will bring people over like so it's it's very well used and has the improvements have made a big difference in how muddy um it's been but i think the idea of, of having a you know a pavement connection to the main bike path would still and that's the design that would go up from from where the trail hits at ward and park yep. and go up So do you suggest to Alexis that we just wait 
a month or two and see are they interviewing or hi, do you know where they are in the process? I don't think there's anything. I don't. I have not heard that there's any pending okay. appointments. Cool. Well, we can talk about this later. I just I didn't realize that um, <laughs> Scott was in the room. <laughs> And um, yeah, I just wanted to bring up Tori and the Safe Routes to School program. Yeah, I mean, and Scott, you can, if you hear of anything that you think we should know about. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the big thing is is that connection. I mean, that's, you know, we were working on that years and years ago. Yeah. And and so I, I've been kind of in a holding pattern for that a um, little bit. Um, yeah, and I, Okay. All right. Thanks, um, Alexis. Thank you. Um, well, Steve had brought up this uh, request that I have in the uh, that I sent with the agenda. This resolution that he um, is looking to have go to the city council about finishing the Mass Central Trail. I don't really have too much information on it. I was hoping he would be here to explain it. <laughs> um, is he looking for funding or no, just a letter of support? Just, uh, just this resolution. And I think he's looking for us to be supportive of it as well. Um, you know, we could, we could, so, you know, approve the same resolution okay. um, if we wanted to. I mean, I think it's, it's on the record. It's definitely something that we would want. So right. um, I think we could do this. Um, but it looked like he wanted this to go to the council too. Mm. Uh, I mean, if we wanted everybody to draft the resolution, if you agree with it, we could we could approve it on our end and just have it be from our committee. Um, it's pretty, you know, generic. Or if you don't want to do that and you want it just to go to the council, I mean, I'm going to ask Steve what he wants. To do with this, I'm fine with. You know, I, I'm. I certainly support. Right. That we, could, we could have it more be a letter of support rather than a resolution. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine. Is there a motion that our committee would support this um, topic of resolution in support of finishing the Mass Central Rail Trail? Is there a time crunch, or is like, is there? A I don't know opportunity to disseminate this so we can review it before i mean i think generally we the more paths yeah the better right um, well we don't have to vote on it tonight we can wait until the next meeting i don't know what the plan for time wise is uh, it's already in progress though yeah. like what right what they're is just, that they're trying to uh, they're, talk, they're looking for a completion of it maybe Maybe they that. want to be able to go to the state and say, look, we have support from all mm -hmm. these communities along the way. Right. We're adjacent. Yeah. We're actually not in that line, but we're adjacent to Northampton. So I know there's what, like 10 miles or something where they haven't been able to. Oh, it might be more than that. True. So I'm here Is in Boston. It, not, it doesn't no, go. No, it, like it's it's North less than halfway. Right. You're, you're talking about the Mass Central Rail tra Trail? Yeah. The one that yeah. goes east-west. Right? Yeah, like, that's that's well, really oh, not done. <laughs> 60 yeah. miles are currently open with 94.5 miles protected and many miles under construction. Northampton's portion is complete, but the gap starts in Belchertown and to the east. So, so my guess is they're trying to build community support so that they can go to the government or go right. somewhere and mass DOT right, or whatever and, and have all these groups behind it and i would say that fully support yeah i didn't see anything like in it but I, yeah i think they just want coalition support yeah 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 we could put it into a letter either way i mean if they want it i yeah. don't know if there's a reason why people wanted this resolution. well i think if it was to go to the city council that's what it right yeah but we could write a letter okay all right so do you want to make a motion that, uh, that our committee will um, draft a letter of support uh, using this as the template? Yes, I'll, um, I'll make the motion. Okay. Uh, second? I'll second. All in favor? 
I you have this. I, 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 okay. I didn't. I didn't see it, but I'll, I'll look at it. It's, it's after the minutes. Yeah, I, I yes, I'm scrolled down. Okay. Um, the next thing is I've gotten a request from a, a, a woman looking to install a bench on the rail trail um, in memory of a friend who recently passed away. We thought a bench at the intersection of the rail trail and Lovefield Street would be a good spot. We'd like to include a small plaque. And we've had other people wanting to put benches and things like that as well. So I reached out to the park department because I knew that they had a policy. Um, so there are prices in here. I mean, if we are okay with something like this, I mean, they said bench donation, the cost is $3,500, which includes the bent con bench, concrete pad, and materials. They told me that the park department would install it if it was in the park, but not necessarily if it's on the bike path. So then who would pay for the installation? We'd have to. Um, I would assume that that cost would probably include the installation. Um, so where exactly? I, where think, the, I think they mean the fork. Where the where the two roads split. Yeah. Right at that dangerous intersection where the hill is? No, no, right at the Ferry Street fork. Oh, Ferry Street. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. Yeah. Is, is there not one? Is there one across the street that's uh, like behind Keystone Building? There's one there, right? There is a bench. And is there's there? a number of benches along the water. Like it seemed like if there were benches needed, that's not really the area that. You I, need. I I actually really want a bench there. Say that again. Yeah, I really want a bench there. <laughs> it's a Love Street intersection. I often meet people there. Yeah, it says the intersection of the rail trail and Lovefield Street. So I, I'm not entirely sure because Lovefield Street has a couple different. Yeah, where does Lovefield officially start? Well, Lovefield starts at on, Ferry at Street. The, no, at the Rotary with Ferry Street. Okay. And then it. Yeah. It splits off with O'Neill oh, going yeah. to the left, and then Lovefield sort of right. as you go towards Clab Street. I just want to make sure that that's not where. Right, because I agree that would about. not be in a. That love was, field continues like that little right and left like that yeah. it jogs right yeah, okay. and o'neill goes straight I, it's i thought it was like where the fork is where we have the little, very street the, the, but there's already like that bench in that pocket park the one that yeah the one that they just there's benches there there's there's that bench by that art installation remember? yeah okay that's on the so, other so side across the street. the street across the street next to, so right next to the ferry street where, no. where where the where the kiosk is and there's a ferry street the ferry street, uh oh where it splits where, it where you either go to mouse yeah, mom or you go to northampton right at the y at the y by, by one ferry street by one ferry. Yeah, i'm just trying to think where there's the mm. oriel derrick kiosk right. right someplace right there i think right Sorry. but there really isn't I don't know where you'd put a bench there. There's a lot of room there. I've looked at it. Are you looking at Street View? Yeah, I mean, there's. I, mean, I go by it like every day, but it's right, like right there. Yeah, I assume because the only other place that I think that they'd be talking about is the this, other. right, right. And that, which is just program. like I don't think that's no. what they're talking about. I think I think they mean right there. I do too. I think that'd be a really good really spot. Yeah, Trying to get to the woods. Can, right. yeah. can you yeah. share that with us? Uh, uh, no. I just have Google Maps opened on it. It's not. Yeah, you can hold it. You, can hold it you, can hold you it also up. have chat disabled, so I can't share anything in the comments either. Yeah, we we shut the chat off. So that means we can't share anything, like a screenshot or anything like that. Um. Yeah, that's the why, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's where I, I think it should be by the kiosk. Yeah, I think that'd be a great place. Would it uh would it impact yeah, might impact mowing? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. That would well, be the one, would that have would to be something to think about. Well, the, the pad would have to be such be, that you could, could mow, mow without yeah. having to. Right. I get right. It. right. You put a pad down and then you mow around. Kind of feels right. like a standard procedure that is, was laid out in the right. thing. They must know how to do they what know. they need. Yeah, I mean, this, this is what the park department does. We don't have any for ourselves because the park department had one that we, right, we were, you know, figured we would just, we would use. Yeah. 
So I guess and they're going to pay for the whole. I mean, I mean do we, they know we, how much it? We is? could. Um, I mean, we could have it be more than that. I mean, I think it. We need to. We probably should figure out what kind of bench that she, she'd want. You know, you can buy them. So does the parks department? have benches and do they have a vendor and get a discount or something where they go well, i know elaine would when she put one in the the park they just she just found one on um barco you know like the, the yeah the, one of the vendors yeah and you know i mean we could i could if if we want to allow this consider you know consider it mm -hmm. i think i'd want to reach out to the park department and see who they use and what style they i mean it needs to be something that's i think made out of not anything that needs maintenance right uh, right like maybe a certain style and then find the cost of it and you know have them help with us and i don't know how old this information is because prices got it. right but has the parks department Updated, updated that because things cost more than they did a year ago and that right. sounds like that's what they gave us a year ago yeah. i just want to make sure that yeah. we're building in insulation i mean we should should we say reach out to her and say we can what should we say <laughs> do we want i mean do we want I mean, a bench there right well i mean because is there any reason because if a lot of people are interested in benches like I think we need to sort of in our minds have like, if we wanted additional benches, what would be appropriate sites and um, and sort of maybe have some limits around it rather than have benches willy nilly. Because I think some benches along the trail where there aren't any and if it's easy to access to install them would be a nice thing. Yeah. But you having a lot of clustered yeah. ones in, in a small we area maybe just isn't like sensible. Standard yeah. bench style that we want right yeah. so also, we what is the one ferry uh project planning to do over there because they might I, be putting I some think, stuff in. i think they're, they're putting in their that. own they were going to put in their own ramp to get onto that the trail that goes out to route five at some point i don't know if that was um, that is still the, within, that another side of yeah, the that wouldn't affect this at all i think um, they're they're all done with with that you know they've all landscaped it and fenced and i think that the part that that would be be in is would not be affected by this no. next project the next phase of their front project because the next phase is further, further yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the other building that's by the water yes. the, the seven, seven. So we're talking about connecting didn't get, yeah. didn't get done because they were also going to put with like a pier out or something that didn't end up happening i, I don't I don't haven't heard anything about anything happening at this particular area, not recently at least. And it looks all landscaped and mowed and fancy yeah. now. Did I mean? Do you get the sense that she, the, is it she, the person? She, asking, yep. Is she asking for that particular space for a reason, or is we thought that a bench at the intersection of the rail trail and Lovefield Street would be a good spot. See, that yeah, could also mean where we think it's not a good spot. Well, I, mean, I think, yeah, we need clarity on where. Right, we, we could reach out and yeah. say, like, if you mean this, we think that's a great spot. Because too. I don't really think that that is, as an intersection with Lovefield Street, I mean, you have, it's parallel to Lovefield Street as you go right. towards Northampton, right. but then yeah. there's the other end that goes to Route 5. They might, yeah, they might even be talking about the spot where the, the road is closed right now. Um, if you keep going oh, yeah. down Love Field, that might because there's rocks and stuff over there that a lot of people stop uh, and sit there. The big granite, oh, yeah. it's way down, whatever they are. Well, yeah. maybe we need to like, yeah, say maybe we where. need to meet. Let's meet and talk about it, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You know, maybe or could, you know, could they time. stamp a photo of the spot? To yeah, that's a go us where yeah. you're. That's a good idea. I would say before we say, you know. Go ahead. Yeah, Here's clear, the stuff of the city. Or Clarify location, and then in the meantime, and do you have a secondary choice or something? Right, right but say that we're generally like and I mean, amenable I, to it because I think it's a good idea. Yeah, and I think yeah. we can give her a ballpark figure of it. It's going to yeah. be at least thirty-five hundred right. dollars. Right. right. So I mean, if they're like, "Oh, it's way too much," right, right. then we just then that's, right. then that's it. Maybe yeah. it's the auto oh, of two hundred dollar bench. Yeah. But I I would also yeah. like. Um, <laughs> I, I would like the park department to help with this too. Yeah. I mean, it, 
you know, help with what kind of bench, you know, where do they get their benches? Like, how do they install right. it? You know, can you help with the installation? I mean, I would well, see it. We just like, if they, if they want to do it, I'm like, right, yeah, like we want to spend the money. Could we just do it via the parks department, like that form and just like, just do it through them. Well, when I, when I reached out and they, they said that if it was something in the park, then they would handle it and they would do the installation. Right. They said, but that's only if it's in the park. So if it's in the bike path, we're kind of on our own. No, I said, well, the bike path is a park. Right. It's a linear that, that was my next thought. <laughs> I mean, the public yeah. works office might help too, but I mean, I'm not yeah. going to go out there and pour right. a concrete no. path. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do that. So, you know, uh, we have to hire some. Yeah. The, so, other, the other thing that made me think about it, just moving forward is it, it could be like an opportunity if there's other things beyond a bench that we think we might need or or does or want to sort of say like not necessarily this person but like there are you know do we have opportunities to you know to commemorate somebody is there something you know what i mean like if we yeah, have projects that bicycle repair station or yeah no seriously you know what i mean like like to, to say like if, if if you're looking for a way to do that if we if we have things that we want someone to put their money toward i don't know what that would be exactly but yeah the, the this um the park department thing it does has memorial bench other park amenities memorial tree donations sure. kind of nice yeah, garden or a memorial yeah. statues fountains plazas gardens you know so it's not so they do have that all that yep, so lasting memorials so that's something that's more different but memorial garden so it's like a whole kind of policy on things that people sometimes ask for. I like the idea yeah. of a tree. The memorial garden could look really well, really good at that. That could um, be really nice, yeah. actually. The thing about a memorial garden is it has to be maintained, right? Yeah, yeah. who's going to do it? I mean, <laughs> John! <laughs> memorial weeds? Uh, well, I'll, I can reach out to her and ask for a clarification on the location, and then I can um, say say what like the minimum amount of how much it would be, and that could be different. Mm -hmm. And then talk to the park department more about specifics on benches and how they go about doing right. something like this. But at least I can, you know, I haven't reached out to her at all yet. Okay. So she, and she said she couldn't um, get to the email on the website which i thought was odd but i guess i think that's kind of a way to start we can kind of maybe leave it on the agenda and i can reach out to her and see what what you know get a few more details okay great thank you and i will check on the email because that's yeah what did she say i would have sent an email but i couldn't get the links on the website to work it's not a it's, yeah <laughs> Understand that it wasn't the other day during the uh, no, global <laughs> outage. No, outage. I, got, I, got, yeah. <laughs> I got this up last week at least. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, I'll do that. Um, trail maintenance updates. Do we have any maintenance updates? Anybody? John? Anything? Uh, I did a little work around the Coleman entrance, turn the roads and stuff, fertilize. That's about it. Looks nice. Okay. Yeah. It looks really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you for uh weed whacking. Oh yeah. 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 That was that one. Yeah. I saw the picture. I good. wonder if I know you shouldn't say spray, but uh, some of those weeds are really hard to get. I wonder if yeah. I mean maybe if they just are weed whack really low, they'll just mm, it looks much better. Um and I was and the DPW was a big help with that sign. I mean they brought yeah. it to me and I, I cleaned it and it it was in pretty good shape. Yeah. And then they've got the Lexan stuff and it looks you've seen it in yeah. person. It no, looks okay. Yeah, it looks really nice. They had to cut the cut the they said there were some kind of bolts that it was on with. So they had to cut that. Yeah. So I'll I'll put it maybe post a little something on Facebook, use one of the pictures and thank okay. them. I think maybe we should check the, I have not looked at the other two. Like uh, the one down at Coleman Road and at Lovefield Street. We should see how they look to see if they do need to be freshened up. Yeah. And somebody maybe- I'll look at them closely. I have that. Yeah. Can somebody take a look at the other two and just 
Where are they? Well, one of them is at that place where we're talking about the, the fork. And then the other one is way down at Coleman Road. And I'll pass TV. the one at the fork on the way home. I can just take a picture. Yeah. Okay. The one I think generally looks okay. It may be a little faded. My only issue with it, it just misnames the Manhattan River, the Bell River. Yeah. It's another yeah, one how many people have actually noticed that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not too impressed with those, probably, but whatever. Yeah, so if we could just take a look at that. If they look okay, that's good. But um, now we know that it, they can be made to look better, cleaned up pretty better. pretty easily. I feel like the one at Coleman might have had rag on it. Yeah, it had a lot of graffiti on it. Yeah. But I don't know if is that still the case. Would oh, I don't look at it. I don't think so. I've yeah, I've seen it recently. I don't think that. Okay. Was on the exterior on the on the stuff the oh, Lexan yeah. that was replaced. Yeah. Okay. That one because that one was replaced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that one does have a box on it for the maps, right? Yeah. Okay. And it's full yeah. of maps. Which one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I gave them to Terry. I gave a whole bunch of maps to Terry, so I think she filled them all up. Okay. Um, okay. That leads us to the trail, unless there's anything else. Um, the trail map uh, project. We've got lots and lots of maps now. Yeah. Um, so anybody, we need to get them out there now. So I after the meeting, we can. I think the library. Right, the library is what I was going to say. Uh, a senior center maybe. Yeah, so. Uh, I have to go to the library tomorrow. I can take, if you, do you have them sure. here, I can pick uh, them. On a, yeah, we can grab some. Anybody who has any place that they think might want them? What about competitive edge? Were you going there? I'll take there? them there. Yep, I'll okay. take them there. I I've been taking, them there, been taking them there for, for years. OK. I could take some to River Valley. Great. Oh, yeah. good idea. Yeah, after the meeting, anybody who wants any, we can yeah. pick up lots and did, lots of Did them. we want to start to clog what's going out so you know where they're going? Did um, we talk about that? In this? the chamber. I just want to get there. Are they even open yet? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're open. You know, they're changing into work public. Yeah, I saw that. But... Are there any kiosks in East Eastworks? There was uh, no, but there's a number of bulletin, bulletin boards. boards. Yeah, that's what I said. There's bulletin boards. But we'd have to put up some kind of oh, holder. You know, you know what I thing. You know what I would like to do is I'd like to get these maps and get them made into something that's not just this, mm -hmm. so we can put them in the kiosk. Because before I was just like yeah. putting I maps. I think Jake and I saw that he sent the email and I didn't read it. I have. I haven't had a chance. He. Did he do? Because I asked him to separate the map. Yes. So okay. that well, I have. Um, I just did he send you that file? Yeah. He sent me. There's two two files. Yeah. Okay. I it was and I, I think those are vectors, so they're just like expandable to anything. Okay. I think it was just one side and the other side. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll look at it when I get home. But. There, there is what a map on the opposite side of the bulletin board, my tandem, right? Is that one going to be updated? It or should is, be. Is that one? Well, the one on the back side, not on the trail side, that is from our. Oh, that was map. the artist one. That's from the artist Alan. rendering. So that's good. But on the front side, do you think that you're. The printing company absolutely do something that um i well, probably should me do some measurements to right see. yeah do some measurements and then give them a size the, the greater east ham or greater northampton one or the other side do you think um i i, I think you should do east, east hampton one. people are local they want to see more detail on where they are. And yeah and then they could kind of cut this out of the file and right. then um Right, but yeah, I mean, he could be. I, I'll talk to him to see what he think would be best. Laminate, but I'd imagine they laminate it too. I'd imagine it'd be either like an outdoor like vinyl thing or something that's like they have anything that's UV. Yeah. Do they have anything? Yeah. But there will be a cover on top of it, so it's not going to be but exposed. But, but ha what happens is the sun, the dampness, right. and, and the, the sun, sun cooks it. Yeah. So if there's anything that is UV, like if they have any yeah. any kind of because if they can laminate it in something that has a UV production, yeah. then maybe it wouldn't fade. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm imagining that, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't like worked there in a while, but when I was like 
when we would do stuff that was like for outside, we'd usually do it like on a vinyl thing because that is like uh, inherently UV resistant and the print is just the material itself. So it's not like, you know. Yeah, I think, I, yeah. I'll, I've, I'll I've, ask, I could. Yeah, you'll uh, get a price and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then we would just need um need various sizes for each one. So right. each one could be, but yeah, they could do like that. Each one could be its own thing. Right, so we'd only need two. And then, if you could see if they can do something yeah. like that, yeah. because I I think it would be worthwhile rather yeah. than just taking one of these and play. Right, right. You know? I agree. And then, and then, and then because month. the East Hampton one is kind of like it's too small. It's yeah. too small. If you're up looking up at a kiosk, it right. needs to be bigger. It needs to be bigger. I mean, I'd say by you know eleven by seventeen. Or there might be yeah. things that we could. Take down or rearrange on that. Oh, it's been there for a while. Have have trouble yeah, it would just have to be the same so we don't get stretching. It'd have to be the same ratio right. as whatever this is. Right, right. But, and that's fine. Yeah. Right. But yeah, they could definitely yeah. do stuff like that. Okay. Millside Park would be a good spot if we wanted to add a place to sort of leave maps because a lot of people kind of park in that parking lot and then. Where would we put them, though? Are, are, would you say where would we put them? I don't know. I mean, whether there's a way to sort of <laughs> on the bathroom, bathroom or, if there's a, oh, a no. cover, I don't know. You know how you'd put it on the bathroom? Yeah, some sort of holder there. But well, we talked about getting a kiosk. We're behind the bathrooms. You know, there's that little artwork like a heart, multicolored heart, or something like that. Or I mean, it wouldn't be as obvious. Have to go down and we'd have to talk with the park on that, yeah, because it's theirs. But so is, the yeah. Yeah, I you know, maybe to, that woman would she be willing to pay for a kiosk? I don't want any more kiosks, oh. a bench with a holder, <laughs> a bench <laughs> yeah. a map holder, yeah, yeah and that's where holder. all the cigarette butts will end. Right. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, it's true. It's too bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the trails grant, mass trails grant or whatever. So um, the trails grant, we, we have it, we have mm -hmm. it, but now we have to work on the match. I mean, we've agreed to our part of it, but, mm -hmm. um, at last that I knew the public works was still waiting for the state to sign the contract until we get the signed contract back from the state, the treasurer, the auditor won't doesn't want to let anything go forward to the council. So, I mean, I want, I was hoping that we would have it in time so we could have the public hearing in August, right. but now I'm just hoping that we get the signed contract and get it to the council for August, because that means the public hearing is in September, you know, and time, time's going by. Now, so. a contract between who and? The city and the state. Okay. Yeah, a signed agreement for the money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do, is it in motion or is, has it just not? It happened? was sent and they couldn't sign it until after July 1st. It's the 22nd. Right. I could, um, um, I, 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 Greg, the, in the DPW, I just need to ask him again. Cause it's, it's, it's there. He needs to reach out to them. And okay. I mean, yeah. I was going to say, I could, I see, uh, Kristen Aleko for work sometimes and she's like, the Western Mass director for the governor's office. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I think I'd rather bit. reach because it yeah. they were the ones that submitted it, and it's going to come back through the the public works office. I mean, I've asked him about it a few times. I think at this point they need to like look into it. I I'll need it for next week. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we have to spend this money within a yeah. year. I know. Yeah. So. Can't spend it till we get it. Yeah, John. This is great news. Um, I just found out because I wasn't at the last meeting uh, that on the on the Facebook. Um, my, I, my, I just had a quick question. So, do we already have an in-depth outline of what we're going to use the money for? I know we went or talked a, a lot about the repaving and and trees and things like that. Or do we still have to like wrangle the the details around the actual how the money's spent? No, I think I think what what went with the application, um, the survey that Jeff had done that that's what 
if they're going to use that as the guide. Okay, super. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. yeah, the survey ranked problem areas, I think. Prioritized. Uh, prioritized, yeah. And John, what we're, what we're talking about is the city match. Um, yes. The hundred thousand dollars that the city was going to put up, the friends were going to do ten, so it's a hundred and ten thousand dollar match. So it'll come to like four forty, I think, all together. Yeah. So what I'm what I'm waiting from the DPW is for them to put forward that hundred thousand dollar match for the city council, which will require a public hearing. So, you know, <laughs> that's so they that's agree it. to it. It's just it has to go to the hearing so that it can be signed off by. Yeah, they have to approve the the local match part of it. Yeah. Okay. Super. Yeah. Well, you know, we wouldn't really want to do the construction till late fall anyway. I would think till the riders till the rider slows down. Yeah, I think it needs to get going as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Does it does it have to be spent by June? I, I don't know. I think so because I think it the I think. The award was made in June. Yeah. And I thought it was a 12 month thing. So if we don't spend the money by then, it, it goes, goes back away. to the state. It goes away. Oh my God. That's, that's, I don't like that story. Yeah. Who's causing the delay or where the yeah, delay is? Was, and they, they couldn't sign it until after July 1st. They being the, the state. state. DCR. Okay. Yep. Does CPW have to put it out to bid? Yeah, I think they or, do. Or can they just say this is a contractor? No, we I think they have to put it out to bid. It's probably funny, that's so. state law because it's yeah. state law. Yeah, that's that's going to be take longer. I mean, yeah. it's, so it yeah, so so like might not be spring at all. It would be spring. Yeah. Could you put it out to bid before you have the money in hand because you're not actually? No, I don't think so. You know, you're anyway, giving out the money I until. I didn't see Greg today, but I need to ask him. I asked him about it last week, and they were still waiting. So, wow. does the mayor? Could she? step in and move things along she has a little it's, it's them um i'm sure you've all seen that jake the rock snake is now yeah, on yeah really cool <laughs> yes he got a big boost the other day they got some um, artists from riverside industry added a whole bunch of rocks and camp nonatuck i think is working on them this week That's so great. Jake's going to be really long. <laughs> that was a great idea. Yeah. I looked at it, and then the next day I looked at it, it was twice as big. I was like, whoa. I know. Yeah, so that's really awesome. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. So the next thing is Peter's Memorial. We've put the plaque on it. And so we're ready to do the little dedication. Um, I reached out to Kathy, Peter's wife, Kathy, mm -hmm. and she picked um, Sunday, August 18th. And she threw out a time of 9.45 in the morning. So hopefully someone be could be there. And Say again. 9.45? Yeah. Yep. August 18th, it's a Sunday, at 9.45. I don't know really how we want to do this. I can probably say a few words, and then we can... If anybody else wants to say anything, and we'll just Mr. uncover the rock. Is a rock in place? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's yep. already there. Yep, everything. That's right on. It's right next to the little path to Tandem. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. The Richmond Pumpkin. Did you put some? It looked like some new plantings were just. I just put in some geraniums. Yep. Yeah, it looks great. It looks really nice. Yeah. We'll make sure it's all weeded. And I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I could go on. <laughs> looks pretty good yeah so yeah i don't think it won't be long it'll just be short um but that's the date that worked for her so i think everybody's okay that's what we'll do it maybe i can sing a song oh that'd be oh, that would be really oh john nice. that would be wonderful i'd love to do that oh that'd be yeah. really nice peter has been to a few gigs over the years and, oh and, and kathy kathy's and a musician she, she plays Oh, yeah, Kathy would really appreciate that. Yeah, she would. That would be great. Nice. Okay, John, to play. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, is the date confirmed? Yes. It is now. It is now. <laughs> okay, great. What was it again? 
Uh, so <laughs> now that you're playing, you know, I thought you were throwing out a few dates. I sorry, I missed that. I missed that part. Uh, August eighteenth. It's okay. a Sunday. Sunday morning at nine forty-five. I'll 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 put out the word, but and I'll tell her to share, and so there could be a bunch of people. Her family, I think her her yeah, family, mostly her family his family yeah okay yeah, we work on a little something yeah we should have a we should program have, we so should, it's should we organized. think about a, a rain date if, if for some reason it's particularly uh, no well, maybe not maybe i think i think it'll be a rain or shine and i have we have a tent yeah the tent that <laughs> went up in the air during the dedication of the mural wind storm unless it's Lift like a it real up. washout yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll just hope for the best you might want to have something to put on each side of the the trail there so people aren't riding their bikes through it whenever you're doing where is yeah. it where is it located again there's right a lot of people out sunday mural, mornings right? <laughs> Trust right. it's right across from the mural you know, oh right okay park, little parking lot next to tandem bagel right there's like a tandem. short path between the trail and that lot we could put out a couple little signs like yeah and make sure you yeah have that out. it'll be yeah. short so it'll hopefully. be it'll be really short so okay all right so that is that i'll work on a program okay, John, I'll, I'll reach out to you about like like when you would want to play or and okay. we'll, we'll work on that okay. um this okay i'm gonna put i'm gonna say this is under trail maintenance because it is kind of you know how i've i've been talking all along about wanting to get like a kubota or a gator a vehicle mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it's this ongoing thing mm -hmm. i had this idea and it's gone nowhere besides just one little conversation with somebody about if we can't get money to, to from a grant or something maybe we could seek donations from businesses and i spoke to one local business owner and they said they would would be fun with making a donation no i don't know we need to get some prices and clarify where it would go um i asked greg and he said if you can get donations to get it then that's fine with him but you know we haven't really asked for donations for a, a bike ten yeah. years maybe you know yeah. oh we got the banks we got williston who could maybe help with where they got theirs right you know a certain insurance company in town who are, mm -hmm. so i mean we could put it out there just to see if there's any if there's any interest yeah. yes Alexa. Got a bench seat too you know for the bench donation didn't someone say that they had like a umass connection that the umass like yeah, auctioned I, off their old ones i did but they, they don't do that anymore oh okay. bench, uh, something changed and they um they have to um they can't do the thing where it's like if you know someone you get one anymore <laughs> no back room deal regulation okay. i mean i i think that if we're gonna get one it should be a decent one and it should maybe if not right away but it would be nice to be able to have one with the capability of having a plow at mm. some point down the road yeah. if we ever wanted yeah. that so yep. yes john um what about asking the tractor place for a donation? Tractor supply? What tractor? Like flurries? Uh, New Holland. Where's that? On the right after the dunk, jump, junkyard, the dump place after Valley. Recycling on the right. Well, they might be a place to see if they have anything like that. So they have a bunch of like, there's like 50 blue tractors there. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Do you mean like a like a, a ATV kind of trail? You know, well, that's oh, what we're looking at. Like um, uh, you said, Kubota, but I'm, I'm Kubota talking like a little utility, utility vehicle. vehicle. Tractor utility. wouldn't be a bad thing to have. A little utility vehicle, like you could drive on the trail with like equipment, a golf know. cart, a size. golf cart, but yeah. bigger. I don't know if they have that. 
tractor. Hampshire tractor. I had gotten a price last year from a John Deere place down in Springfield. Um, but, you know, I got thinking um, Williston may uh, have a place that they, right. and they may actually be willing to make a donation. Right. Or they might have one that they're getting rid of and getting a newer model and give us their old Yeah, that's, that would be good. Yeah. That's like what the UMass used to do. Right. Just right. Like, right. Upgrade. upgrade. Yeah, and they, anyway, it's just an idea. So I'm, I'm actually going to, you know, maybe poke around a little bit and see yeah. what I can Go for it, Barb. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's my thing. I know that's your thing. <laughs> okay, you're really, I know. No, I think it's a great yeah, idea. But, all right. Well, that's all I have. Does anybody else have anything? I just wondered about um, originally we had thought in terms of the transition of DPW taking on more, there was talk about like the mayor and Greg coming to a meeting after July. Yeah, the first. Yeah, where are they? Where, where does that stand? Are we looking at uh, there's there's no money in the budget in the budget this year for the bike path. Right. DPW. I think that now kind of the idea is let's get the trail in good shape. And to me, it almost seems more realistic that we're looking at like next year's budget. But I think we should lean on them as much as we can. I don't want to wait until next I know budget season spring and they say oh no we're already in the budgets you know because yeah. that's what we're happened this year leaving at the end of next year right so maybe it's too late maybe she doesn't want to make any decisions well that's what happened there's i mean as we know not nothing got added to the budget so well, then we'll all have our own memorial benches and that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did um trash get like taken over by dpw or are we still are we still paying for that we're still paying for it Wah, wah. Yep. I thought they were doing a few extra. I thought they were they took over a few. No, that didn't happen. Removed one, didn't they? They took out some. Oh, they took some out. They took some out. We still we pay Riverside about two hundred and twenty some dollars a month. It's fifty five dollars every time they pick up. So it's fifty five dollars a week, and that varies. So it's usually around two hundred and twenty some dollars. Um, we're oh the mowing that um so i reached out to our mower who does the lovefield street bank and i've asked him to add on the weed whacking that corner mm -hmm. to keep it because the dpw did go out right away and they cut that all back um and so he just did a mowing and he must have done it because he it feels a little higher so was it, do you notice that it's oh any yeah better? it made a huge difference do they straighten um, the signs the stop signs at all or? i think i think they straighten the stop sign yeah but, I that. yeah is there any more discussion to be had about like additional changes at that intersection or is that too much on the plate right I now i haven't heard anything about that <laughs> yeah Except the mirrors. I mean, uh, right, the mirror can't yeah. happen. I guess the the, we were also happen. looking for more visibility of the crossing itself. But um, probably no. Or it's not super clear that the bike path is happening. Like, there's not really signage ahead to watch out. Can't remember if there's anything, any yeah. bike, like on the on, on the pavement there. On O'Neill. No, on Long 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 Field. Field. Yeah. Long Field. So as you're coming down from ferry, as you come right. down that. There's field. nothing. There's you have full visibility really if you're coming off. Yeah, of it's, it's, it's that little corner where forward. they had to leave right. that big. Thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah after the last meeting, I wrote to Greg, and so at least they went out and trimmed. Yeah, maybe. but that was all that I've heard. So well, I think anything else is, you know, I, I don't. Right. Well, at least maybe we put it on the radar a little bit. Yeah. So <laughs> next meeting. Uh, yeah, next meeting. Uh, I want to mention um, I'm probably going to go to a Columbia um, meeting sometime between now and whenever their next meeting is. I got an invitation from somebody I know who's on the committee there. So if anybody has anything they want to have said there or just. Yeah. I mean, they're just they're very organized mm -hmm. in their websites. Just take notes. Yeah resources but 
I can't think of anything, but just to get the latest update of, I know they're still wrestling with that last gap, right? The one that was going to go through a neighborhood. They, it's going all the way through town now. It goes um, over the bridge and yeah, it connects north to south through downtown Westfield. So uh, I does, it go, does it go beyond the bridge north? No. No. They're working on that project um, right now, but they're running into, like they had decided on a path that comes out or it goes like under the highway and then comes out in some neighborhood behind. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. That's what you're talking about. But, but that's not. Um, but everybody in that neighborhood was totally against it. You know, like it's going to be very heavily trafficked. And yeah. Why would you want like watch access, access to bicycles? Watch out for their kids uh, who are playing in the street and yeah, not bicycles. walking their dogs. Playing. That's what the bike path was right. for. So, <laughs> but you know, uh, not in my backyard. So, Alexis, um, I saw that Southampton is having like an event uh, beginning of August, and they're going to table. Um, maybe we could like give them some maps for that or something. Southampton Greenway is going to table. I just got an email today. Aren't, John, aren't you the liaison? Liaison. <laughs> yes, they are. They are going to be at. Um, uh, I forget what event it is, it, but if they, it's an event in Southampton, and they are going to table, and it would be great for them to have maps. Oh, speaking of the, a great way uh, to bring awareness to their folks. I had. Um, I think. I think he was from Southampton. Um, reached out to me, wondering about our maps and like who who was the designer and all that so i sent him the pdfs because he wanted to see what they look like mm -hmm. and so if if it's okay i'm gonna give him jake's email it was and do you what think that's you? okay should we yeah ask? yeah i mean he can always say no he can always say no no i think that's a great idea yeah. And I told them that we had a great job with the company from Chicopee printing the maps. And so the event is called Celebrate Southampton and it's Friday, August 9th and Saturday, August 10th. It's not the old home days, is it? No, I've changed maybe names. changed the names. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next meeting. The 19th. The week of the 26th is going to be really crazy for me. 19th works for me. 19th is fine for me. Okay. August 19th it is. Day after our little Peter right no, celebration. <laughs> Good. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Okay. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.